What is going on guys, it is British EDC here and today I'm going to be bringing you a pocket dump video. So everything you see in this video, I carry on me at all times. Um, I don't leave the house without it and it's not just a bunch of items that I've got that I say that I carry all the time but I don't. This is honestly, hand on heart, a true representation of what I carry on a daily basis in my pockets or on my person. So the first thing I've got is just a standard ballpoint pen. It's nothing fancy. Um, it, I think this one was just a couple of quid that I picked up while I was away. Um, it writes, it's blue ink. They didn't have any black ink. I, I prefer writing in black. But it does what it says on the tin, really. It writes when I need it to. And I much prefer a clicker pen than a capped pen. I don't know why, I think it's because I'm, I like to click things and I don't know why, but. So to go with that is a little moleskin notebook. It's small enough that I can put it in my back pocket. Uh, it's got like a little card pocket here. It works. I've not got any issues with any other notebooks. I used to carry like a th I used to buy a three pack for a pound that were a similar size to this. But I saw these in the shop and I'd never actually seen any moleskin notebooks in person. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy a pack. And now I can't see me going back to any other notebook just because they're nice and rounded on the corners. Lots of little things for me that, that make them worth the six pound price tag. So moving on, we have the i3e. EOS, which is a tiny little keychain flashlight. I've got this in Desert Tan. It's a, it perfectly bright enough for me. I I think I got this. Yeah, this is their limited edition one. Um, that was free. You didn't. There was no purchase needed to qualify for it. It was free at that period of time that I got it. Um, and the desert tan color really stood out for me. Um, I've not got any other, anything else in desert tan at present. So for me, this this is the perfect size, perfect brightness. And yeah, it's always in my front right pocket. So knife is kind of what everyone wants to see. For me, it is a CRKT Heine Haynes edition. I've had this in my pocket for about a week now, just over a week, and it is lovely. It came razor sharp out of the box. I did a quick video to start with on this channel. It wasn't great, didn't have a tripod set up, didn't have mics or anything, it was just filmed on my phone. But this nice short little blade, folding blade as well, keeps it completely UK legal, so no excuse or reason needed to carry it. The law says you can, so you can. Um, solid, solid pocket clip and rides nice and deep in the pocket. And the lanyard for me works because I find this pocket grip, uh, the pocket clip, sorry, um, is rather tight on my work trousers or my jeans. So it's nice just to have a little lanyard to give it a little pull out. It's light. Um, I don't know it's it half the time, but yeah, I do rotate this with my bird turn, which is a hell of a lot lighter than what this is. But yeah, that's that's the knife that I carry, that I am carrying at the minute. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. So let's move on. So I do carry a multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Sidekick. And I know you're going to say... Oh, but the Leatherman has locking blades and that makes it non-UK legal to carry without reason. So I found a solution to that. I took the blades out and I replaced it with a house key. So I'm not going to show you my key because I know that they can be copied from um, digital stills. I know it's possible, I've seen it done and it is kind of something I want to try myself. But yeah, I do keep a house key on my Leatherman because I can and it can 
then it makes it conform with the UK law. So the Leatherman for me usually sits in the Leatherman pouch it comes with on my right hip. Right hip, I don't know why I think it's because I'm right hand dominant, but it's too heavy to have in your pocket. Um, some people might might like it, but for me, it's it's definitely a bit too heavy for the pocket, so that's why it sits on the hip. If any of you guys have got any recommendations for a Kydex maker for the Leatherman Sidekick, because I would prefer a Kydex holster with like a paddle, like a paddle clip on it. Um, I can't think of the word, but just so I can like pull it off easy enough and I don't have to stand my whole belt off. You guys know what I mean. But yeah, if you've got any recommendations of uh, Kydex manufacturers, UK, US based, Europe, I'm not fussy. I will pay the shipping. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I carry in my pocket. So it's a total of five items, right, light and slice. That's all I need. It serves me well. So yeah, that is a overview of what I carry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything you want to see me review, go over or talk about, then yeah, please do comment in the comments. But yeah, if you haven't already, hit that notification bell and the subscribe button so that you can be updated with all of my latest videos. This is something that I am enjoying. Um, I've had YouTube channels in the past, but EDC for me is a big part of my life. Um, so yeah, I do want to carry on making videos. That's something I'm passionate about. And the EDC community is something I want to give back to as well. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.